Hello there, students. Welcome back to our English class. Today's lesson is on writing a formal letter. Things needed, your readers and writers notebook, and your pencil. Our objectives for today, identify the key features of formal letters, recognize the parts of a formal letter, and write a formal letter correctly. Now let's start with our lesson. Classification of letters. There are two classifications of letters. They are broadly classified as formal and informal. A formal letter is a letter written to a business, a college, or any professional that are not considered friends or family. While on the other hand, an informal letter is a letter you would write to a friend or a family. I have here an example of a formal letter. Let me read it to you. 64 Kings Road, Liverpool, L34FE, 18th of June. City Tourist Information Center. 12 Westway, Liverpool, L17FX. Dear Mr. Wright, I am writing to apply for the position of part-time assistant at the City Tourist Information Center, which was advertised recently in the Liverpool Daily News. I am very interested in this job because I hope to do a degree in tourism in the future. I already have some experience in this area because last summer I worked as a tour guide in the city center, which I really enjoyed. I am hardworking and reliable, and I enjoy working with people. I also speak some French and German. I enclose my CV and would be happy to provide references on requests. I would be available to work on Saturdays or Sundays. Thank you for considering my application. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Liam Simpson. Here we have an example of a formal letter and here are the parts. As you can see here, the upper part and the right, the sender's address. This is the address of Liam Simpson. Now we have here the inside address, which is the address to whom He's writing a letter, and this address is the address of Mr. Wright. And on the left, we have here the opening. And we have here the body. We have it stated here the specific reasons why he wrote the letter. Reasons for writing where you saw the job advertisement. Reasons for applying why are you why you are a good candidate for job. And mention the CV, saying thanks and closing greetings and finally we have here the closing and then the last part is the signature now we're ready to answer page 212 of the readers and writers notebook now we have here page 212 of the readers and writers notebook but before we take up the formal letter let us point out the features of a formal letter. 1. Includes a heading, address, salutation, body, closing, and signature. 2. Stays focused on one idea. 3. Uses a business-like tone and is polite and respectful. Now it's time to read the formal letter. 1400 South Spring Street Fourth Worth, Texas, 76123, May 20, 2020. Miss Laura Ramirez, 555 Grove Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60617. Dear Miss Ramirez, Last week, something terrible happened, but it made me think of you and the unit on whether we started to study right before you moved. On the evening of May 5, we had the horrible storm. We are okay. 
but we had to move to an apartment until the holes in our roof can be fixed. Luckily, our school was not hit by the storm. This week, I learned more about what happened. Most of the damage was caused by balls of ice called hail. Hail is a form of precipitation that falls as chunks of ice. I learned that hailstorms are common during the summer in the Midwest and Western United States, but in Fort Worth, we had hail as big as golf balls. The hail dented cars and tore holes in the roofs of buildings. Rain, thunder, lightning, and wind followed the hail and lasted all night. The storm caused a lot of damage in Fort Worth. When it ended, most of the people in town had no electricity. Many people were injured. Some buildings even collapsed in the strong winds. I think it will take a long time for buildings to be rebuilt in Fort Worth. I hope we never have a hailstorm like that again. It's a good it's good that you moved when you did, but I'll never forget your important message to us. Science doesn't just happen in books. Sincerely, Jane McMahon. Now let's try to answer the questions. What words in the closing of the letter show that the writer is respectful? Now in the last part, we have here, the writer ends the letter by telling her teacher that she will never forget her message, then closes with, sincerely. And a second question, what information is included in the heading of this letter? Of course, the heading, the heading is on top, the first one, uh, the upper right, and it includes the address of the sender, the date, and the name and address of the person receiving the letter. So, these are the information that make, that are included in the heading. Now, it's homework time. You can see this page in the Readers and Writers Notebook, page 216. Try to answer this outline, form A. This is Mr. R.R. Thank you for listening.